Hello and welcome to our Tamiya TTO2 Type S build from RC Empire. In this video, we will be installing our new receiver, fitting and securing all the electronics, and I will be showing you how I have tidied everything up in our chassis. So let's get started. On the two previous videos, we left off fitting the servo and taking a look at the new transmitter and receiver we will be using, the Futaba 3PV. Now, with this car, there isn't a massive amount of space to play with, but you can comfortably fit everything in. So in terms of things that will take up space, you have the motor and servo, which are fixed in place anyway, so you can't do much with those. But you also have the receiver, speed controller, all the wires, and in our case, these little capacitors from the ESC. In terms of the receiver, we could have easily mounted it onto the top of the servo. I know a lot of people do this with no issue, but since I had space, I wanted to keep it inside the bathtub on the bottom of the chassis, instead of on the top of something else. So the first thing you want to do is to feed the antenna wire into the antenna tube from the floor of the chassis. It can be a bit fiddly, so slightly bend the wire up so it follows the hole. And once you have it through the hole, pull it up through the tube and make sure the wire reaches with some slack and doesn't get in the way of anything else. As you can see, the receiver fits snugly in this little gap on the right hand side of the car. Now for the speed controller. Luckily, this isn't the biggest ESC I've seen. You can see the full measurements and dimensions in our unboxing video. But actually, it seems to fit perfectly in this little gap and fits snug around the antenna tube. Leaving a perfect little space there for the capacitors. And you can just push those in. You can also see that I like to hold everything in place with Velcro. This does the job very well and if you need to quickly remove or reposition something, it can be easily done without leaving sticky back tape on all the surfaces. Now one of the things you have to be very careful with on this car is making sure that none of the wires from the equipment sit and rub on the centre drive shaft. It's a smooth shaft but it can still create friction with the wires and melt or wear the casing away. So we will want to try and pull away all those wires from the centre shaft when we go to tie everything together later. If we take a quick look at the receiver manual you can see that with the R314SB, which is what we are using here, the servo wire goes into port 1 and the ESC wire goes into port 2 or channel 2. One of the things I noticed is that the plugs don't fit very securely. It won't fall out, but they don't go very deep into the casing of the receiver. It seems a bit shallow, but I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, so once you're happy with the position of everything, you can go ahead and start tidying everything up. So what I've done is got some smaller zip ties and I've bundled the motor wires together. Make sure when you do this that those wires can't move about and touch the wheels whilst you're driving because this has happened to me before and the wheels almost cut through the wire casing. I've also gone and done the same with the servo, receiver and speed controller wires and this just keeps everything nice and neat. You don't need to crush the wires together, just make sure they are nice and secure and when you are happy, just snip the excess off. And it's nice on this car because nothing is hidden away or tucked under the chassis and you can easily get to everything when you need to. The last thing, you can see the capacitor wires are facing the middle of the car, but you can turn the capacitor around so the wires are facing the receiver and you can bundle the capacitor wires with the servo and ESC. And that also keeps those wires away from the spinning shaft. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I have given you a few tips on how you can arrange your car. And in the next video, I will be bringing in the new battery, showing you how you can bind and calibrate everything and we'll be starting this car for the first time. So thank you very much for watching. Please rate, drop us a comment and subscribe and I will see you soon.